let's modify this example and let's have a parameter is constructor in base and the derived class so i'll just print the message parameters be printed now the base class constructor is a parameterized one and the derived class constructor is also parameterized one let's try to save and run the application and see the result there is an error now let's read this error there is no argument given that corresponds to the required formal parameter num of a dot a int it means that a base class a having constructor a with parameter integer is not get called and the value to the num parameter is not get passed though this object has the parameter this parameter will be supplied to the parameterized constructor of the derived class only it is not going to get passed to the parameterized constructor of base class so what is the solution in order to do it explicitly call the constructor of the base class using the base keyword and provide the parameter inputs so let's provide that number as a input run the application and see the result so the result is base class constructor parameter is 10 and derived class constructor parameter is 10 and the message so this way you can solve this problem if there is a parameterized constructor in base as well as in derived what will happen if there is a default constructor available within the base class along with the parameterized constructor what will happen let's try to deal with it default constructor in base so now let's remove this explicit calling for the parameterized constructor of base class now the situation is base class have default as well as parameterized constructor whereas the derived class has only the parameterized constructor and we have passed only the parameter single parameter save the application and run and see the result no error appears and the default constructor of the base class gets called and the parameterized constructor of the derived class gets called means in this situation there is a default constructor in the base class and parameterized within the derived one it is going to call the default constructor of the base class and the parameterized of the derived one so stay tuned thanks